Hello, this is a tutorial video how to run hunt and kill frequencies. So the best way to do it is go to click home, go to biofeedback. We're going to go into con do a contact mode. So we're going to do hunt and kill contact. Click, double click it, go to control, and then click overwrite generator, and then we're going to click number three. When we click number three, we'll look over here, and we'll see that it's we're in the Gen X mode. We got the Gen X going. So then, we're going to click scan, but before we click scan, we're going to go over here to the Gen X, and make sure the uh, tens cord is plugged into this one here. You can see it here. Yeah, port number three. See port number three there? Yeah, port number three is there. Port number three is right there. That's number three. So three goes to, again, port 3, which is right there. That's port 4. Port 4. That's port, this is port 4 here. Right here. Yeah. Which is that, but we're not using port 4. We're using number 3. So anyway, again, we restart hunt and kill contact. Right there. Double click it. The directions are over here. Then we go to control, up there, click control, click overwrite generator, click number three, and then hit scan. So I'm gonna pause it because I'm not doing it at the moment. So we're just gonna pause it. Okay, so then we've done that. So we're going to wait. We're going to let it run. It takes 30 minutes to run. And you can tell it's 30 minutes up here. It'll loop. And you'll see frequencies. Once you see frequencies there. Okay, we're going to go to step two. We want to run those frequencies that it just created. So we're going to go. Step two is we're going to go to programs. No, we don't want that one. I'm going to go to programs, and down here we'll see biofeed. It'll say biofeedback frequencies down here. You're not seeing it because we haven't done it. But anyway, when it's there, you want to click this one, the save button, right there. That button, right? The second one down. So you click that. Let's see if something pops up. I don't think it will. But anyway, something will pop up, and then you save it. Um, and you save it to whatever you can remember, like your name, the date. Okay, and then to find it, you scroll down here, all the way down, down to the bottom, and you'll find it down there somewhere at the bottom. Okay, so... The last stage is that when you run this, those frequencies, oh wait, let me go back, um, let me go back here. So you, oh, step two is um, to, now to run those hunt and kill frequencies, you want to go to shell empty preset, and you want to, uh, whatever you're running it in, in contact or plasma or remote scalar, pick that. We're gonna do contact this time. And I like JW killing to kill things, but there's more to choose from there. And then you pick the programs up here, and then you scroll all the way down to the bottom, which we did. So your hunt and kill frequencies will be at the bottom down here somewhere. Double click that, you wanna click usually a zero down here. So 
so you because you want to repeat usually you know so I just put it on zero I can find my cursor yeah so you backspace there okay so it's blank and then you put zero right there zero okay so that runs infinity mode yeah until you turn it off okay so then once you do that you go to control control override generator click three and then you press start okay before you press start you want to make sure that you put the boost on you want to put it in high power mode so do this and then do that and then plug it to this one you want the high power mode and if it's too much you can put it into the cladal silver mode that will lessen the power or the it won't be so shocky if you feel shock, shocked. So yeah, put that in there. I'm just doing it because I have one hand here. I can't do it. And like that. Yeah, then the tense pads. I like these tense pads. Um, I put them on either side of the belly button on the stomach. That's the way I do it. Okie doke. Any questions, uh, let me know. Okie doke. Bye for now.